everyone, welcome back to a new episode. And uh, as you can see behind me, this is my Switch Tower, which is currently empty. Uh, so this episode is an updated episode of my previous one, showing you my complete uh, Nintendo Switch video game collection. Uh, you guys know in my last video, I was very sick. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened uh, when I did that video. I uh, just want to give an update that I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm under medication and things have been good, you know, cross my fingers, you know, things have been great so far. So this episode is going back and get, showing you guys my complete entire Switch collection. Uh, and every time I show you one, I'm going to be putting it back in place. Uh, so let's get this video on. So this video is going to show you my complete Nintendo Switch collection uh, and uh, these games are ranging from my very best to my uh, least uh, favorite so uh, of course my first one is going to be my absolute favorite game that I love and the last one is going to be a game that I love but not played as much. And then I have a separate pile of special collector's editions that are not opened and a few other uh, games. Uh, but yeah, these ones are uh, going to be a wide range of different games, I like a crazy amount of them. Uh, and every time I show you one, I'm going to put it back in place on my tower, uh, because I like to keep it nice and ordered. And first up is the Batman Telltale series game. I absolutely love this game. This game was probably the game that I spent the most time playing, uh, because I wanted to see different types of stories and where it would go. Uh, I haven't purchased the second one. I'm kind of hoping eventually it, that it will be released physically like the first one. Uh, but if not, I'm hoping limited run games will get the rights and do it. Uh, so I got the complete first game. That is my favorite game. The story in this is absolutely incredible. Next up is my favorite video game franchise of all time. And that is Street Fighter 2. Now this is Ultra Street Fighter 2. Uh, the final challengers and uh, if you guys grew up in the 90s Street Fighter was the main fighting game alongside Mortal Kombat and I really love this game because it brings back that classic feel uh, just a little bit updated some new characters uh, and it gives whole new life to the Street Fighter 2 uh, franchise and I'm very happy uh, this is a 30th anniversary collection uh, that re released officially and only for the Switch, so I picked that up. Next up is the Street Fighter, the 30th Anniversary Collection. Now this has a complete collection of all the other games. It has Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter uh, 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighters, uh, Street Fighter 2, uh, Super Street Fighter 2, the new Challengers, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3, New Generation, uh, Street Fighter 3, uh, Second Impact, and Third Strike, Street Fighter 3. Uh, now this has a whole bunch of games in it, and it's an amazing collection uh, for any Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat, um, not Mortal Kombat, sorry, any Street Fighter or fighting game fan. Uh, so this was a must-have game, and it's easy to find, and it's not too expensive. Next up is Bayonetta 2. Now Bayonetta is my favorite franchise from Platinum Games and uh, I went through hell to find this copy. I didn't buy it when it first released and then when I wanted to buy it I could not find it anywhere uh, so I had to order it off Amazon. I paid a little bit more than I would at a normal store but it's okay. 
Uh, and then uh, a couple weeks later, I found another sealed copy at Game Cycle, so I picked it up and I have it sealed in my, uh, in my collector's cabinet, but I grabbed that. And of course, everything falls when I'm trying to put it in there. And that does bring the first complete game digitally. Uh, the code was used when I bought it, and uh, my new one I haven't opened. I don't, don't care about downloading it because I played it for the PS3 when it first came out. Uh, so I left that one sealed because it's going to be worth a fortune sometime soon, and I'm good with that. Next up is a game I imported from PlayAsia, and that is um, Gundam G Generation Genesis. Uh, and this is basically like a Fire Emblem style game. And uh, first, this one is all Japanese, so I played it, but I don't understand the story. I understand the mechanics and how to play it. Uh, but there is a new one that is coming out this uh, November, which I'll be pre-ordering, and I'll be in English, which is really cool. Uh, but this is a must-have for anybody who's a Gundam fan or likes strategic games. This is a must-have. Next up is another game I uh, imported. And this one originally came as just a digital download and I don't waste money on digital downloads. So I paid a little bit more and got a physical copy. And that is Sword Art Online Hollow Realization Deluxe Edition. Uh, this is a European copy which of course has a complete English uh, um, soundtrack. Uh, and uh, um, subtitles and everything so it's perfect if you are trying to import a game and the switch is great because you can port games all over the world you just want to make sure that it has uh, English so you can play it and this one uh, originally I had on PSP uh, and uh, I played the hell out of it uh, but not as much as I played the second one the last song which is my favorite uh, but this is really awesome and I'm currently waiting for the sequel uh, of um, Sword Art Online and it's uh, Fatal Bullet and I'm waiting for that one because I also imported it because I don't pay for digital copies so I'm waiting for that to come to mail and it's, like I said complete English and you don't have to worry about anything so got that. Next up is one of my favorite fighting games and that is My Hero uh, One's Justice. Uh, now this is the first video game of My Hero Academia and if you're an anime fan like I have then it is a must-have game. Uh, of course, the first games are always the, um, the starting points. Uh, I think that future games will be better, uh, but they've done a really good job with this one. I'm excited to see what happens next. I have all the characters, I have the DLC, uh, and it's still a very fun game that I love to play to this day, so I got that. Next up, I got Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Uh, now, this is another amazing fighting game. Uh, and I went crazy, I purchased the complete DLC so I have every character and I'll be buying the new characters that come out. Uh, but this was one game that uh, I got me back into Dragon Ball Z uh, and you know, now I'm currently watching Dragon Ball Super. And I really love this game because it is classic fighting. I wasn't a fan of the Te Tekaichi games. Uh, I love the Budokai games uh, that was originally for the Nintendo GameCube PS2. Uh, but this is a callback to it. I love the uh, graphics of it, the animation, and it is an awesome side story. Uh, so if you guys haven't played it, I highly recommend it. Next up is one of my favorite Nintendo games, and it is Splatoon 2. Now Splatoon 2, as you guys know, is a cooperative shooter game, and instead of killing each other, uh, basically you still do. Uh, your job is to ink up the area, the most, uh, most inked area, uh, the team wins. And uh, you can obviously uh, kill other players, uh, but it is a family friendly game. It is addictive, it is fun, it is colorful, it is one of the best games in the past 15 years uh, that has came out and I'm very happy. I got the complete Amiibo collection and pick that up. Next up is a classic and it is Sonic Mania. Now, Sonic Mania was originally a download title. I purchased the Special Collector's Edition, uh, and then they released an actual physical copy of the game, which, of course, I purchased it day one. Uh, Sonic is my favorite franchise. Uh, I love Sonic the Hedgehog more than anything. And this was a callback to anybody who grew, grew up in the 90s and loved the classic Sonic game, so I picked it up as fast as possible. And it comes with an art book and reversible covers. Next up is another Sonic game that I actually really love. A lot of people don't like this one, I don't know why. And that is Sonic Forces. 
Uh, I really like Sonic Forces. I haven't played DLC, I just noticed that I had DLC for Shadow and for Super Sonic. Uh, so I downloaded them, and I haven't played it yet, but I'm going to play it. Next up is another strategic game, and that is Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Now, this is a fun collaboration between Nintendo and Ubisoft, and I can't wait to see what they do. They've done some awesome collaborations, and you're going to see another one coming up eventually. But this is a must-have game, and you can get it for very cheap now, 29 bucks. Next up, I got Shining Resistance Reframe. Now, this is one of my favorite games for the Switch. Uh, it is a steelbook reversible cover, uh, and I put the good guys on the front, and I put the bad girl on the back. Uh, but if you haven't played this game, I highly suggest you do. It's lots of fun, the story is amazing, and it's a giant RPG title, which is uh, kind of different to any other games I've played. It is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So I picked that up. Next up is Kirby Star Alliance. i uh, big fan of Kirby, and this is the first title of Kirby on the Switch. Uh, it is tons of fun, and it's fun with a lot of players, so if you have lots of friends, uh, up to four people can play it on uh, the same screen, so it is definitely a fun party game. It's a great story game. It's perfect if you're playing alone. It's, uh, it's perfect because it's, uh, it's a game that anybody can play. It's not totally difficult. It's not totally easy. It's just a perfect play game, so pick that up. Next up is the King of Fighters for the Switch, and that is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Edition. Uh, now, this is, of course, everyone's top game for the Switch. I finally have all the characters. I have the season pass for DLC, so I'm just waiting to download the rest of the characters, but pick that up. Next up is one of my favorite RPG games, and it is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is the Torna Edition. This takes place 100 years before the original uh, Xenoblade 2. Uh, this came after Xenoblade 2, uh, but I purchased it up for 40 bucks. Uh, it's pretty cheap, and it's a very lengthy game itself. Uh, and I actually really like the story of this one. I still haven't fully beaten it, but I'm going back and playing it, and it's very, very good. I suggest you guys try it if you have a Switch of your, of your own. Next up is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, amazing game. I have the collector's edition, I have the normal edition, uh, because Xenoblade is probably my favorite game franchise. Uh, that um, Xenoblade uh, Chronicles X was the first game I played for the Wii U, and it was my absolute favorite game. And then I jumped onto these guys, and the story of these games are amazing. Colors, the animation, uh, it's a beautiful anime type game. I'm a very big fan of those types of games, so pick that up. Next up is a game that I played the hell out of uh, on my PSP, and uh, I've, I have the second copy, which I never really played, and I finally purchased the third copy, and it's God Eater 3. Now this is basically a Monster, Hunt, a monster Hunter type game, uh, just I like this one a lot better than Monster Hunter. Uh, I love the anime style, the characters, I love the, I love the monsters, I love everything about this type of game. And it is really fun and it's better with four people online so you can do local multiplayer and you can do online play uh, Which is really really awesome because this is a really really great game and I hope you guys try it for yourself um, because Like I said if you like Monster Hunter, it's definitely your type of game Next up is my first my first favorite shooter game and it is Doom now Doom is one of those games I grew up with I loved and this one is so great because it has such an awesome uh, story. The graphics are amazing. They did such an amazing job porting this to the Switch. Uh, you really can't tell the difference of graphical. It is that good, and I'm very happy I got it. And I can't wait for Doom Eternal, which hopefully it comes out soon. Next up, I have Final Fantasy X and X-2. I haven't played these yet, so I can't say anything about it. Uh, my friend told me to pick it up, uh, so I got it, and uh, I'm trying to finish 7 first before I jump into 10, I just don't want to have so many games to play, uh, so I picked that up, that's all I can say so far, and it comes with the first game and the second game, you have to download the second game, which is just kind of a shame, but it's okay. Next up is Tales of Vesperia, uh, this is the definitive edition, uh, this game is a lot of fun, I still have to finish it, 
Uh, of course, there's so many games I have to finish, but it's okay. So yeah, this is an amazing game that everyone will love. Uh, if you are a fan of the series, you guys know that it is really, really awesome. Next up is another fighting game, and it is Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, now, this is f my favorite fighting game of uh, the Mortal Kombat franchise. It keeps getting better and better, and there's so many awesome characters that are coming up for the game. I can't wait to download. I really want to try Spawn, uh, but yeah, this is a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, for a huge game that did such a great job of porting this over to the Switch and I'm very happy because I'd rather have a lower graphic game but have it uh, so I can play on the go or at home so it's worth more to me than having one that is in a higher graphics so I got it. Next up is the other collaboration between Ubisoft and Nintendo and it is Starlink Battle for Atlas now this is my favorite game I have all the spaceships for it, I have all the figures, this is a toy, uh, toy to life game. Um, you don't have to buy the toys, you can actually download them online, but it's a waste, it doesn't, doesn't really make sense for this type of game. I love to see the spaceships and the, the figures are really cool and detailed. Uh, this is a giant space exploration game, uh, and the really cool thing is that the Switch copy has, is that you get to play as Fox McCloud and his, his arrowing uh, spaceship. So, um, this one is really amazing. I've taken so many awesome screenshots and video of this uh, game and I gotta get back into it because it's been a while since I played but it is my top game of all time. Next up is another RPG title and it is The World Ends With You, The Final Remix. Uh, now I never played this on DS uh, and a lot of people told me that it was a good game to play uh, and it is. It's a really good game. The only trouble is, is that the controllers are kind of difficult to use. You're using uh, a, one Joy-Con basically, and that controls your character, and it's m more with motion, uh, kind of like how the DS version had the touchscreen where you would use the stylus. It takes a little getting used to, but it is really, really good. So I picked that up. Next up is another fighting game. It's called Blade Strangers, and this is uh, by uh, a company that's their games are a lot of fun to play uh, and Nihilus is the game company and they do a lot of good things and the really cool thing is that Shovel Knight is actually a uh, playable character in this game uh, very awesome fighting game with a lot of different characters uh, and it is a really really good one if, if you can still find a copy uh, I highly recommend it if you're a big fighting game fan so I'll pick that up <laughs> Next up is another one by Nihilus, and it is Cave Story Plus. Uh, now this is an awesome 8-bit to 16-bit shooter game, and the story is pretty cool, and you're exploring a, a world kind of like Metro, Metroid style kind of game. Uh, definitely a lot of fun if you guys have not played it. I would highly recommend uh, trying it yourself. I'm not sure if they still sell physical copies of it. Uh, I bought it right away when I saw it. Uh, but I believe it is on sale in the eShop if you guys are into downloading it. Uh, make sure you try it because it's really, really, really fun. Next up is Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. Uh, so I got this one because I never played it on the, uh, on the Sega Master System. Uh, it is a remake of an older game. Uh, and you can switch between retro mode and, no and um, the new mode which is pretty cool. It is very difficult, so if you guys thought of the challenge, this is this is one you should get. Very challenging game. Next up is another Wonder Boy game, and this one is Wonder Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. Uh, now this is a newer game, but it is, I believe this is also a remastered edition of the classic game, but it is really, really fun. I like this one better than I do the Wonder Boy, the first one I just showed you. Uh, so this one is a lot better. It's a little easier. Uh, and the graphics are amazing on it. Next up is another, uh, this was my first Nintendo Switch game, and that is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, I really love this game, uh, though I think it's not my favorite Zelda title. I really like the classic type of Zelda, uh, but this one is still lots of fun. It's huge, it's a great exploration game, uh, but for me I find it a little too big where not much is going on in the world, uh, which I think if they would have made it a little bit smaller, and I like, for me, for Zelda games, I like it more linear, I guess. 
uh, where it tells me where to go when I go into the dungeon, move on, story, story, move on. Uh, but this one is still amazing and I can't wait to play part two. So I got that. Next up is Fire Emblem Warriors. Now this is a classic uh, Dynasty Warrior type game. Uh, not much can be said of it. It's basically, you got a full story of it and you're going around attacking enemies and stuff. Uh, and it's a really great game, though it gets kind of repetitive. So if you guys are not into those type of games, I don't recommend you try it. If you are, this is a great game to try. Next up is Mario Kart 8. Uh, no Nintendo Switch owner can go without having a Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. So Mario Kart 8 is an awesome updated game uh, with a whole bunch of new characters, uh, lots of DLC for it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and my favorite character so far is the Inkling Girl. Uh, I just love Splatoon and it's really cool. And this you can play as Link. Um, if you don't have uh, a copy for your Switch, it's definitely a great party game. Next up, a game I've never played before in my life, and it is Diablo 3. And I know it's kind of weird and I've never played it, but that's okay. I'm happy because I bought it for the Switch and I actually really like it. Uh, I haven't played it in a while because I've been jumping between different games, but I really like it and I'm going to start playing it. Next up, I got the Resident Evil Revelations Collection that brings the first and the second game. Uh, this is uh, a game that was originally released on the, DS, on the 3DS, which was my favorite. I played it, the shit out of it. Um, the second one came to PS, uh, PS3 and uh, PS Vita. Uh, it's more like an episode kind of game. I don't really care for it as much. I love the characters, but the story is kind of, kind of cheap. The graphics are not as great as the original, uh, but it is still fun to play. And I got that because I'm a huge Resident Evil guy. Next up is a really fun game and it's called Rad Rogers Radical Edition. Now this is a fun, classic 90s type game uh, where basically you're in the 90s area, you get sucked into a video game, your job is to fix it. Your job is to fix the bugs uh, and special stuff of the game. And it is a really, really fun game, lots of uh, hidden items. It's pretty much like a Castlevania type game, uh, but it is more linear and it is so much fun. And for the price of this, I paid 19 bucks. And it's probably one of my favorite games. Next up, I got Ashanti Half, he uh, Half Genie Hero uh, Ultimate Edition. Now, I've never played a Ashanti game before in my life, so I picked it up and I really, really love it. Um, and I think from now on, I might actually keep buying these games. Uh, they are a lot of fun. The soundtrack's amazing. The art style is amazing. It's a uh, very deep type of game. I didn't expect it to be so good. Next up, I got the Mega Man Legacy Collection and Mega Man Le Legacy Collection 2, which is the complete series of uh, NES games of um, uh, Mega Man. So you have everything in there, uh, which is really, really awesome. And you also got 9 and 10 included in this. Uh, so I picked it up because I never had the complete series. I'm happy I did because Mega Man was always one of my favorite games. Now this one is my absolute favorite. It is Mega Man X Legacy Collection, Mega Man X Legacy Collection 2. Now this is the Mega Man X games. This is the first games of Mega Man that I really got hooked on. They are freaking impossible, but they're fun as hell. And I'm very happy I got this uh, because this is the 30th anniversary of Mega Man and they did a really good job on these. Uh, they did a really good job porting it to the Switch. Uh, the controls are amazing. It plays like it used to on the uh, Super Nintendo, so very happy. And Zero was always my favorite character, so. Next up, I got Mega Man 11. Uh, now this is a complete new game. Uh, it is very, very awesome. A nod back to the NES games, and it is very difficult. I just like the NES games, but lots of fun. Next up, I have Axiom Verge. Now, this is an awesome um, indie game that I picked up. Very uh, Castlevania, uh, Castlevania slash Metroid game. Uh, very, very hard, but the exploration is cool. The story is awesome. And I really love these 8-bit type graphics games, and they've done a really good job. The soundtrack is really amazing in this game. Next up, I have Owlboy, another amazing game done by one creator. Uh, it took him 10 years to make this game, but it's still so amazing. Lots of fun, so I picked that up. 
Next up I have Gun Vault Super Striker Pack. Now this brings the uh, two versions of the game, I believe. Um, and it's really awesome because these games are a lot like Mega Man, just a little bit crazier. Uh, the characters are more anime styled and lots of fun, but extremely hard, guys. <laughs> I'd recommend this for people who are really good at these types of games. Uh, I'm not too bad, but even me, I have troubles with it. Lots of fun, though. Next up is another Nihilus game, and it is It'll Do 2, which is basically a fun uh, comedy ripoff of The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Uh, but it is still so much fun, a great game to play, uh, and I really do love the story. Uh, very, very awesome. I love the anime style. Next up is ARMS. Now, ARMS was a game that Nintendo created. It was a new IP that kind of felt like Punch-Out, and I really love it because you use both Joy-Cons as your fists and you used your whole body. Uh, now, the really thing I love about this is it's a great party game. Uh, very, very good. It's very technical too, so you, you have to know what you're doing if you want to win. I highly recommend it. Next up, I have Rhyme, which is a very awesome game. I love this. I love the, the game. I love the story. Though, the uh, they could have done a better job of porting this over to the system, but uh, I'm not gonna diss it. Like, I do love it. I just wish that the frame rate issues were resolved. It's a little buggy, but it's still lots of fun to play. Next up, I have the Sega Genesis Collection. Now, this has over 50 games from the Sega Genesis uh, timeline, and I love it because it has uh, so many games that I used to own, and I am currently trying to find physical copies for for my actual Genesis, um, because I do have my Genesis, and I do have all the awesome games that I love from Genesis, so I picked this up uh, to have whenever people come over and we can play some classics. Next up is FIFA 18. Uh, now, the reason I bought this is because I like to have at least one FIFA game uh, per console. And I bought it mostly because it is Ronaldo. He's in his Portuguese jersey. And it is really awesome because it is from the 2018 World Cup game. Uh, and this one was pretty cool because I purchased it at EB Game, at, uh, sorry, at Best Buy with this awesome cover. So I grabbed that. Now we're gonna go on to my specials. Uh, as you guys know, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII and I got some awesome uh, thing done here. And that is Final Fantasy VII. I got this done on Etsy by a special artist who she did a very good job on it. So I made sure to grab it. And it cost me eight bucks, I believe. Now this doesn't bring a physical copy, of course, but it is still, still really awesome because I have an actual uh, thing that I can use and display on my collection. Next up is my favorite Switch game, and that is Octopath Traveler. Now I have the collector's edition, and I have the sealed copy of the uh, of the of the game, which is in a plastic game case, kind of like my Funko Pops, but I want to get a hard plastic case. Uh, it is an amazing game, amazing stories, amazing art style, amazing soundtrack. It is definitely the best game that Square Enix has done in the past, you know, 10 to 12 years. Uh, so this is highly recommended. You guys should pick it up because, like I said, it's just too amazing not to. Next up is Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, now, I originally had an open copy. Uh, I gave it to my brother so I could keep his sealed copy. Uh, I love the game, though the same kind of thing. I find it a little too open for my taste. I'm a big fan of Super Mario uh, 3 and Super Mario World and Super Mario Sunshine. Those are my favorite Mario games. And I'm really hoping that uh, we get a Sunshine 2, which has been teased. Hopefully that's true. But yeah, I got that. Off of limited run games, I picked up Dust and the Legion Tale, which is the best game I've ever played. Um, I love the story. Again, it's done by a few artists. And these games have such a love in them you can tell the quality of a game. So I picked that up uh, off Luna Run, which of course is sold out now. Um, so if you guys didn't get a copy, I feel sorry, but you can always buy it digitally if you want. Next up is a fun collector's edition of the game. I got the Liar Princess and a Blind Prince, uh, which is a classic kind of storybook game. The animation is pretty cool. It has a lot of puzzles that you have to solve. 
and it's just a very fun story. So if you guys like this one, you should try it. Next up is a game that I purchased off of Play, uh, Play Asia, which is their Play Asia exclusives, and it is RN, RXN Limited Edition. Now this is um, a shoot 'em up game with mechs, and you guys know I love mechs. I fell in love with it when I played it online. Uh, I downloaded it and then I deleted it because I found that there was a physical copy. And this is the complete collector's edition, which comes with a steelbook case, uh, comes with a game on a physical format, an art book, and so much more goodies inside. And so I highly recommend that. And next up is my favorite game for the Switch. Of course, it is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now you guys know I have two collector's editions and one normal copy sealed in a hard plastic container. And this one is really cool because it comes with the uh, art book, comes with the soundtrack, comes with the steel book, and comes with a few other little goodies in here. Uh, but it is the best game for the Switch ever made uh, yet. So if you guys have not played it, you guys should go right now to any uh, place that sells video games and pick up your copy. And that, guys, is my complete Switch collection. And as you can tell, I've sold quite a bit of them. I used to have more in my previous video, and they are gone because I either didn't like it or didn't feel like it was worth playing anymore. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video, and I'll do it again later on when I get a few other games. Take care, guys.